Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Mystic Rose. It's so wonderful to have you here with me today as we explore the tarot pick a card topic all about the person on your mind. What does he really need and crave from you, but he's too afraid to say? So we'll be diving deep into this. There will be three piles to choose from. And you can choose using either gemstones or images or some combination of the two. The choice is yours. All you have to do is go to the timestamps below in order to make your selection. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining this tribe. I would love to have you be part of this awesome community. To all of you who are returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I truly love and appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Please remember if you're liking today's video to hit that thumbs up button and like and leave a comment too. That helps me to know if you enjoy this type of reading and it's always great to know also if it resonated with you. Okay, so without any further hesitation, let's go ahead and look at the tarot pick a card topic all about the person on your mind. What does he really need and want from you, but he's too afraid to say? Hello and welcome to your gemstone selection. For pile one, we have black obsidian. For pile two, we have zebra jasper. And for pile three, we have angelite. Go ahead and think about which one you're most drawn to. Now, if you are drawn to more than one pile, there may be a reason for that. So definitely think about that when you're considering which pile to choose because there may be multiple messages for you in each one, okay? So today's pick a card reading is gonna be what does he need or want from you, but he's too afraid to say. So it should be very, very detailed. And I hope that you'll enjoy. Let's go ahead and get started with our reading. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome. If you chose Image One or Black Obsidian, you're in the right place for today's tarot pick a card reading. And we're going to be taking a look at what does he need and want from you, but he's too afraid to say. So, um, we're going to be taking a deep dive, okay? And it should be really fun and interesting too. So, I'm hoping you will enjoy. And toward the end, we'll do some um, like astro dice and letter tiles and channeling and different things like that. I might even say their exact name or your exact name just to let you know or to confirm that you chose the right pile, okay? And, you know, with those confirmations, it's just extra, you know, confirmations. But if like the first segment resonates, then definitely, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? I'm going to go ahead and connect with spirit so we can begin. Spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages. To my group one, all about the questions at hand, please speak through me as you always do. Please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So I'll be using the hidden truth because I want to know the messages he really wants to say to you too. Okay. And I'm going to be using these cards here, which are... Which ones are these? They're called the Lover's Oracle, okay? And then I'm going to be using some song cards to see what song they would like to say to you or dedicate to you from their heart. And then I'm also going to be using this deck of tarot cards, which is called the Deviant Moon. It's one of my favorites because it's just, I don't know, like I really like the artwork on it. And then the Yin Yang Oracle, okay? So lots and lots of fun different ways to discover information about him the the person on your mind and what he wants or needs from you but he's just too afraid to say it right now okay for whatever reason so let's go ahead and start with the tarot 
I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like shuffle until I get that tingling sensation, which I already got. All right, and then I want to just shuffle a little bit more. All right, and then I'm gonna, I like to shuffle on camera. It's just how I am. And the songs. Okay, got a couple of songs. And the hidden truth. We're going to find out what he would say to you. If he could say whatever he could, he wants to say to you. Um, and of course, you know, if at any time this is not resonating with you, feel free to choose a different pile, okay? Because that can sometimes happen, you know, with general readings. And all you do is choose a different pile, okay? And then we've got one more here. Whoa, that one almost flew right out. All right. I'm excited to see the cards that you got, pile one. I really am. Okay, so what do we have? Let's put our cards, our oracle cards right here on the side first. And we'll start with, um, we'll flip over the tarot first. Okay, so I'll just put these here on the side. And I'll flip these over. Okay. So we've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got the... Mmm. Nine of Cups. I like that. Genie in a Bottle. Hmm. We also have the Six of Pentacles. The Five of cups i mean i'm sorry five of pentacles the three of cups and the lovers um looks like i might have to uh here's the card but uh i can't i gotta get a sticker to cover it up just a moment all right there we go i just had to cover that up it was showing a little bit okay so with the Page of Pentacles um, and the <clears throat> Five of Pentacles together, this is showing this person could be an Earth sign or, you know, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are, though. They could just really exude a lot of that energy. Um, meaning that, like, this person... Um, this man, this, he is very good with money, okay? Um, and also, I mean, he could be a co-worker of yours. Uh, sometimes, though, he feels like he wants and needs more when it comes to life, when it comes to love. He kind of sometimes feels like, I don't know, it's almost like this desire for more, you know? Um, he can be a little too hard on himself sometimes, and I think that's why he um, may have a hard time articulating um, what he wants or needs from you. Like, you know, he's the kind of person that needs many things. What I'm hearing is he needs one thing that's important to him is trust, okay? Um, he may have been violated in love in the past. Trust is something that he feels is earned, you know, and that it's built over time. Um, and... I feel very strongly that trust is very, very important to him. Not only that, but he also needs and wants honesty, open communication and honesty. Um, he wants to know everything you are feeling. He wants to know, do you want to be more than just friends or are you okay with being friends also? just friends. I mean, he wants more than just friends, okay? He wants to be more than just friends, but he also wants to be your best friend. He wants to tell you 
that you are everything that he could possibly ever dream of or want or need. Um, you are a wish come true. What he wants and needs from you that he's afraid to say is that he needs to feel like he's, um, I want to say like everything that you want, okay, and need. And he wants to, he wants you to uh, show him respect and, um, you know, he will give you respect too. Respect for, you know, his opinions, needs, and individuality because I feel like, you know, sometimes he gets tired of trying to just be like everyone else or like blend in or fit in. Um, he just wants to also, like what I'm getting, like, a download is that he wants to leave a legacy behind in this world is very important to him and his work is very important to him but it's so much more than just work like he wants to actually do something with his life and he also wants or needs to talk to you about this a little bit more like he needs to explore um things that are meaningful to him and he wants to be able to open up to you and to really be able to connect with you on a very deep heart and soul type of level. He wants to let you know that he needs that closeness and um, like non-judgment. And he knows that you are a good listener and he wants a partner that can listen without, you know, like immediately offering solutions. But just like simply being present, which you are very good at. Let's see what else. We have, okay, yeah, so he has had a past that included some some kind of pain and suffering, and he needs to, like, be able to vent about it or talk to you about it. He knows that you're the kind of person he can talk to about it, and you're not going to get jealous, like, if it's about another woman or whatever or another person. Um, he knows that you're not the type of person to get jealous. It's just that, like, he he may need to talk about, like, past relationships and, like, what bothered him, what worked well, and what didn't work well, and like be open. So he wants to have that kind of open communication with you because sometimes um, it's almost like, I feel like sometimes he's suffering a lot with things that he's holding in. We have the mirror here with reflection and projections. Sometimes I think that he has a hard time communicating and you may have to kind of pry him open. I notice like this little, this page of pentacles here has a wrench and he's ready to fix something. And it's a big old wrench, right? For big old problems. So I do feel like there, um, the problems or issues in his mind sometimes feel almost so big or insurmountable, but like, and it can make him feel really, um, crappy. Okay. For lack of a better word, just like, he, he may feel that, like, people scrutinize him or, you know, um, people in his, like, I don't know, like, people in his past didn't treat him right. He just has a lot he needs to vent about. And um, he wants that closeness from you. We also have these two. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. What else? Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. So yeah, um, basically with, with these two things here, it makes sense that he's very introspective and, um, but it's almost like he needs your help in articulating some of this stuff. So that's what he wants and needs from you is almost like to, for you to be a sounding board, but also to understand him and kind of like draw out these things that he needs to talk about. Okay. Because there's so much going on that he really needs to convey to you. It has to do with his past. It has to do with some of the inner reflections um, that he's going through. Some of the things inside of himself, okay, that he's dealing with and that are causing him to feel certain ways. I mean, he may be really suffering with some of these things and suffering in silence, I just heard. He may look like okay and happy on the outside at times um, or in photographs, but there's something going on inside that he really needs to, uh, connect with you about. And, um, yeah, he wants to be true to himself and be authentic, and he wants and needs a partner who's also authentic and true to yourself. Like, he would never want to take away your authenticity or your freedom, and 
maybe in the past like somebody tried to do that to him so he's very careful i also feel like he doesn't want to step on people's toes um you know he's kind of he's the kind of person that stays in his own lane he seems like the kind of person too that's like he can get along with all kinds of people um people from different backgrounds and everything like that like he seems very open but and when it comes to like friendships and stuff like that i feel like people really like him but he just kind of struggles when it comes to that inner reflection or like being able to talk about things okay so he really needs you to be a sounding board and to understand him and um almost like you know i'm hearing like conflict resolution so it's almost like he needs you to um like respectfully um show him i guess like how to resolve some conflict that he has going on inside of himself um, and, and you have such a respectful way about doing this because you're not somebody who's going to blame him, you know, and stuff like that. Like, you're just very, um, open. So let's see what he would like to say here. I watch you on your social media. Okay. He's watching your social media. So just know that. And what else? I can't be with you. Okay. What are the songs? Easy on Me and Obsessed by Olivia Rodrigo. It sounds like here there's something that's keeping him from really being able to open up to you, um, even though he feels super connected to you. With that one here, that one just screams like, I don't know, like, what's going on here? Okay, because everything seemed to be okay up until I drew that card, and now it's like, you know, I can't be with you. So is there something going on with this connection? Like, is there something stopping him? Is maybe, is his, are his fears getting in the way or something that he's trying to work on getting in the way of the two of you and the, the intimacy? Maybe he is feeling blocked and he blames himself. Okay, maybe that's why we have these cards here and he needs you to be understanding of what he's going through. But he, there is still like, you know, maybe he can't be with you right now. It could be a distance thing. It could be emotional distance, physical distance. He could live overseas I don't know like you know but whatever it is it's like yeah let's go over some of these lyrics together and see if we can get clues as to why these cards came out okay okay so I'm just gonna read the, the lyrics for easy on me there ain't no gold in this river that I've been washing my hands in forever I know there's hope in these waters, but I can't bring myself to swim. When I'm drowning in this silence, baby, let me in. Go easy on me, baby. I was still a child, didn't get a chance to, to feel the world around me. I had no time to choose what I chose to do, so go easy on me. There ain't no room for things to change when we're both so deeply stuck in our ways. You can't deny how hard I've tried. I changed who I was to put you both first, but now I give up. Go easy on me, baby. Didn't get the chance to feel the world around me. I had good intentions and the highest hopes, but now, right now, it probably doesn't even show. So that's go easy on me, okay? And then the other one is Obsessed by Olivia Rodrigo. And it says... If I told you how much I think about her, or, you know, you can, whatever, you'd think I was in love. And if you knew how much I looked at her pictures, you would think we're best friends. Because I know her star sign, I know her blood type, I've seen every movie she's been in, and she's beautiful. I know you loved her, and I know I'm hurt, but I can't help it. No, I can't help it. I'm obsessed with your ex. I know she's been asleep on my, on my side of your bed and I can feel it. So it's like she's, she's talking to this saying, I'm, to this man saying I'm obsessed with your ex because she knows, okay, that he's still kind of hung up on this hurt or this pain or this lack of trust in the past, okay? And she's like, I'm obsessed with it because you're obsessed with the past. That's what she's saying to him. Um... Yeah, like, is is she friends with your friends? Is she good in bed? Do you think about her? No, I'm fine. It doesn't matter. Tell me. Is she easygoing, never controlling? Is she well-traveled? Is she well-read? 
she makes me so upset i'm so obsessed with your ex so it's like this woman okay who's singing this song olivia rodrigo she just has a lot of questions you know she wants to know everything like but that's the thing so that really does honestly fit with your reading Pawan. seriously um and i just feel like yeah this person what they really want and need from you is closeness but they may be saying oh i need space or i need um you to understand uh i need validation like they they need their feelings validated they need their opinions validated they need and want understanding closeness patience they need and want from you to be respected and um understood and their um like how they feel acknowledged that's what i'm getting here so what i'm going to do is put these all to the side and then we will go ahead and get started with our um our confirmations um segment and i'm going to be channeling all kinds of messages and stuff like that and um information about your person this man okay and uh so I'm going to go ahead and get the astro dice out. I could roll his astrological sun, moon, or ascendant, or yours. Or a birthday. We have Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Aquarius. So since we got Aquarius twice, let's roll again. Okay, Leo. We also have 3, 11, and 8. Which 8 and 11 is 3. I mean, 8 and 3 is 11, other way around. So that could be a March birthday, a November birthday, an August birthday. Um, as far as the astrological signs, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, and Leo, that could be your sun, moon, or ascendant, or theirs. And then for specific birthdays, um, yeah, the 3rd, 11th, or 8th of any month, March 3rd, March 11th, March 8th, March 19th, March 14th, and then 11 is November, so November 11th. Also, Twin Flame Energy is coming through prominently here with the 11-11. November 11th, November 3rd, November 8th, November 14th, November 19th. August 8th, August 3rd, August 11th, August 14th, um, and August 19th, okay? If those don't, you know, resonate with you, that's okay. Let's keep going. So how this works is I'm going to be channeling names. I might say your name or the person on your mind. Okay. If I say um, somebody in your family's name, let that be extra confirmation that this is your pile. If you don't see your name or if you don't, if you don't hear your first, middle or last name or theirs, you can look in the letter tiles for it spelled out um, or look for initials. You can duplicate letters if you need to. And if everything's there except one letter, it still counts. So I'll go ahead now and I will list about 20 to 30 names. And then I might get locations and other hints and clues too. And um, we'll go from there. But, all right. So I was hearing Fabian and Fabio right off the bat. Jensen, so that could be somebody's last name, Jensen. Um, let's see, jo Jordy or Joey, Joy, Joyce, Rodrigo, Joel, Boris, Beatrice, Pierre, Hillary and Hugo, Samir, Tenzin, Hamza, Michael, Caleb, Edison or Ed, Edward, Javier, Min, uh, Max, Zach, Prince, 
Raj or Raji, Rashid, Leo, Laramie, Liam, Jonas, Simon, Simone, Saeed, Philip or Felipe, Nikolai, Nico, Robin, Debbie, Hav Havan or Hav I don't know, Havar, something like that. Um, Meredith and Melinda and Pam, Gordon, Jordan, JJ, Rosa, Sally and Saleh, <clears throat> San or San. Um, the last name Van Dam or Van. I was hearing Van Sickle or Van um, Van Housen or something like that. It sounds German. The name Jen or Jennifer. The last name Cruz. Somebody here could know how to speak French. Um, somebody here could be a uh, Generation X or Gen Z. Um, somebody here, their last name or first name could be Warren and Spring, Springsteen. That could be somebody's last name. Oldenburg, Edinburgh, and Denver are coming through. Tulsa, Dodge City, Nevada, hmm, San Diego, um, Little Rock is coming through, or, you know, Arkansas in general, um, Carolina, like North or South Carolina, Moorhead, I don't know where that would be, but I was hearing Moorhead, and, um, I was hearing Dodge, so I don't know where that would be, Dodge, Dodge City, Town of Dodge, I don't know, Dodge something or other, and um, somebody here also, I'm seeing somebody could own a bar or work in a bar. Somebody here could um, either collect shoes or be a shoe salesperson or work in a shoe department or something like that. Um, somebody here could, uh, I don't know, I heard QR code, so whatever that means. I don't know, maybe somebody here works in... Um, with computers. Somebody here could be um, a gamer. And I was hearing something about Game of Thrones. So maybe there's like a connection with that, with Game of Thrones. And um, um, I also heard um, Alex or Alexis. I also heard New Brunswick. Uh, I don't know where that is, but maybe Germany? I'm not sure. So you or this person could be from there. Um, Aiken. Aiken. Like Clay Aiken? Okay, interesting. Maybe that's somebody's last name, Aiken. Or the first name Clay or Clayton. The name Jace as well. Somebody here could be a cosmetologist, because I am seeing that. That could be you or this person. Okay, let's go ahead and get some charms. Okay, so I've got the charms. There's a whole bunch here. So I'm just going to um, pick some out here. I'm just going to cast the charms. Okay, one of them, one of them fl flung out. <clears throat> so here, the one that flung out is Jealousy. Um, this person, maybe this person, uh, experiences jealousy at the thought of you being with somebody else, okay? I'm hearing that song like, I still get jealous. Okay, I really don't know who sings that, but yeah, that's what I was hearing. Um, we have the hat here, which to me is a, it always stands for protection. So, um... This person, they, they're hoping and praying that this connection is protected and that 
um, you're, it's something that they, they haven't closed the book on completely or, you know, like the book of this romance. They haven't closed the book of this romance. That's what I was hearing. We have persuade. Okay. And there could be somebody in this person's environment who's acting like a snake. I mean, we have this big, huge cobra. So maybe there's somebody here who's trying to change this person's mind or like whisper like negative stuff in their ear, trying to persuade them, trying to, mm, it's could it could very well be like a bad friend or a family member being like, oh, that person's no good for you, you know. I also just heard the name Jasmine, okay? The name Jasmine just came through loud and clear. Um, this person could have like, um, he could have like a female friend too that's given him bad advice. Okay, I just, that came through. Somebody here could have um, a foot tattoo or a tattoo of a foot somewhere on their body or tattoos on their feet. Okay, that could be um, him or you. Uh, we also have the scissors. He could have recently gotten a haircut or like I said, or you could have recently changed your hairstyle or the length of your hair. Um, or, you know, maybe you like to experiment with wigs. Also, the cosmetology thing, okay? You could be a cosmetologist, or he could be. You know, I've met a lot of really talented men who are cosmetologists, and wow, impressive, very impressive. We have a kiss. So, this person is imagining kissing you, your lips, how that feels, they want to be close to you. They feel in some ways that you are their soulmate. We also have it's complex. Okay, it's complicated. It seems so cliche, but it is. That's what the charms are saying here is that it's really complex how they feel. Like it's just not easy to explain. And that's why they want and need you to like help them to like help them to heal or help them to, you know, be that sounding board. We have wisdom. Yeah, you have a lot of uh, higher wisdom and knowledge that you can bring to this person. And it's almost like they, they don't know other people that have this kind of wisdom like you. You bring your wisdom from many lifetimes and you're an old soul for sure. You also have a lot of just spiritual wisdom about you and life in general. And then we, it says, I love you. That crown says, I love you. So, um, yeah, I really do think that there is a lot of love here, even though there's so much that they want and need to tell you that may be holding them back at the moment. So, um, of course you never have to, but if you liked today's tarot reading, please like this video. It does help the channel and please also leave a comment and let me know if it resonated with you. Um, and please hit subscribe as well and join the tribe. I would love to have you be part of this awesome community. And, um, thank you so much to all of my returning subscribers. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to watch however many piles that you were drawn to because there might be multiple messages for you in each one. And, um, if you need a personal reading, check out the info in my description box below. Or visit my website to learn more at www.mysticgrowpsychic.com. My prices are very affordable and it's always a lot of fun to connect with you all. My readings start at only $20 for a 5 to 10 minute long read, um, one question reading. Um, yeah, so also I wanted to say that by now you may have heard about the opportunity to join my Patreon community. I do offer two weekly readings, pick a card style, all about spicy love readings, beauty, gossip, and some very deeply spiritual topics. You get to see all sides of me, Mystic Rose, and you get to vote on all the topics. You also get full, unlimited access to hundreds of videos that are already in my library. So feel free to look in my description box below and check it out for more information. Also. If you haven't yet checked out my sister channel, Mystic Rose Tarot Collective, feel free to click on the link in my description box, head on over there, and check it out. It's all about love and romance. If you enjoy it,
please be sure to subscribe over there too. I would love to see you on over there. And finally, I want to say a big thank you to all of my viewers, subscribers, channel members, and Patreon members. If you're interested in supporting the channel and receiving a few extra perks, become a channel member today for only $5 a month. There is a link in the description box below that you can click on for more information. And if you would like to donate to the channel in any other way, feel free to look in my description box below for ways on how to do that. Of course, it's never expected, but always appreciated. Thanks so much and stay beautiful. Until next time, take good care. Bye. Hello, group two. Welcome. If you chose the Zebra Jasper or Image 2, you're in the right place for today's Pick a Card reading. We will be taking a look at the person on your mind and what does he need or want from you, but he's too afraid to say. Okay, so toward the end of the reading, I will be doing some confirmations. I'll be using Astro Dice. Letter tiles and channeling, I might even say your exact name or their exact name aloud, okay? I'm going to be using several different decks for today's reading. I'm going to connect with Spirit real quick. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to group two about the questions at hand. Please speak through me as you always do. And please bring in light, peace, positivity, and protection. Thank you, spirit. So I always just shuffle until I get like a tingling sensation in my solar plexus, or sometimes cards will just fall out. Also, I'll be using the hidden truth because I wanna see what this person wants to say to you verbatim. So we'll be looking at a couple of these hidden truth cards. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> that was too many. I only want to get two of these. Okay. And I'm going to be getting a couple of songs as well. And I'm going to be using uh, these, which is the Lover's Oracle. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Okay. That one's a little bit naughty, so we have to cover that one, but that's okay. It's not really naughty. It's just that YouTube doesn't like it, and I have to cover some certain things up. Okay. If it was my Patreon, that would be a different story. It's a lot of fun over at my Patreon. A lot of fun. All right, so, all right, whoa, oh my goodness. How many is that? One, two, three, okay, we need three more. The devil popped out. Obsession. This person needs you to know they're obsessed with you. That's coming through, addicted to you. Okay. What does this person need or want from you, <clears throat> but they're too afraid to, t to say? We'll put these here on the side as we look at these. I'm not going to read, read reversals today. So anyway, we got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups and the Moon. Oh my goodness. We also have the Tower and the Devil. 
All right. So the tower can be significant for Mars energy, which signifies Scorpio or Aries. And the devil can be for um, Capricorn. So we've got a lot of energies here and possible signs as well, astrological signs. The moon is indicative of, um, I want to say, Piscean energy, okay? Yeah, Piscean energy. Um, this person wants and needs you to know that... Even though things might be rocky right now or a little, a little crazy, a little bit unpredictable, they need and want you to know that um, I just heard, like, I'm still here for you or I'm here for you I, and I want you to know that I want you. This person wants you in every way possible. They want the stability that you can provide to them like you know like just mentally even and they want to be intimate with you physically intimate with you this person is very addicted to you addicted to your energy okay um what they really want you to know is how much they crave you and it may be a secret okay it may be something that they haven't really fully come clean about but they they really want you um and this person this this man okay he wants you and he has a lot of passion and compassion what he needs from you at this time is to show him kindness and empathy for anything that he may be going through because he could be going through some difficult times and you have a way about you that's very healing. You also know how to validate this man. And he wants and needs your validation. He wants and needs you to let him know that he's good enough. Okay. He wants you to provide emotional safety. And um, uh, he also wants to just be a safe place for you. And if he is going through, like, recovery, like, addiction recovery or anything like that, or this doesn't necessarily have to be, like, a, a real bad addiction. This could be anything, really. Um, but he, I do feel he's trying to overcome some kind of addiction. And he, what he wants you to know is that he's overcoming or he's facing his his demons or his shadows okay and he's trying to transmute or transform and he needs encouragement from you um he needs support from you and he wants to pursue goals he wants to pursue passions he needs you to be a cheerleader for him and he needs to know that you believe in him also what he needs from you is appreciation and recognition that he's trying is what I'm hearing. Um, and to see the good in what he's trying to bring to the table or like, I guess it's for him. He wants to be seen as a good person. Um, he wants to be seen as needed as well. And he wants to know that um, you can see the good in him. That's what I was hearing. Like he wants to know that you see some kind of good in him and also with this card here he wants uh, a deep passionate passionate union with you that is deeply emotional and physically connected and that really encourages um growth and not only that there's a strong sense of chemistry here between the two of you um, he wants you, what he needs from you is he needs your, your, yeah, your physical intimacy and, um, he needs to feel desired by you, um, and wanted, okay? And it makes him feel like, 
I don't know, like the most important man in the world, like, um, makes him feel good about him, his self, his self esteem. It gives him body positivity. Okay. It makes him feel appreciated and love for, you know, the way he looks. And, um, he likes that you don't like pressure him about like his looks like you just accept him how he is and you don't try to change him um his style and stuff like that um maybe in the past like somebody tried to treat him like a, a ken doll and tried to change his style and stuff like that or was like oh you need a haircut or whatever like you don't really do that like you accept him how he is and he appreciates that okay he may want you to um be able to provide stability for him i'm sensing that in the form of building together building stability together as a team um possibly even building a family okay whether that's fur babies or a child well what he also needs and craves from you um is to keep that non-judgmental space for him okay so you know he needs you to allow him to express whatever's on his mind without being you know feeling like he's criticized or whatever like you're very good at being very open and non-judgmental he also needs and craves um like assuredness i want to say and knowing that you're not just gonna walk away so like you know um affirmations yeah he he's like a verbal affirmations love kind of expression person um you know how there's different love languages that's his form of expression and he likes to receive love in the form of verbal affirmations so he needs to hear you say that you're not going anywhere and like know that it's true and also what he needs from you and, and what he's afraid to say is he needs that he still needs that freedom of expression where he's feel to free to be himself okay where you just you know continue to nurture him and allow him to be himself okay and to provide comfort uh for him and in space to grow because there, there's some growing here that uh he wants to do and to provide that is what he needs from you and to just provide like a safe place where he can explore his emotionality and physical desires as well and also like there needs to be like some sense of playfulness like moments of lightheartedness or humor and a little bit more playfulness and maybe not taking things so seriously because i was getting that especially with this card here um let's go ahead and see what these ones here are This says new beginning. This person, yeah, they want to start over. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. This person wants to start all over again with you as if it's a very, it's starting from scratch, okay? Um, with this card here, it says healing, okay? This person needs some kind of healing. Um like an emotional healing they need i'm hearing that marvin gay song um you know what healing i can't say it here um and in this particular reading um but yeah they need healing from you healing energy from you but they may be a little bit afraid to ask um it says, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed every moment. Family, home, and commitment. I cannot make it up. Like, this person wants to build a family with you. I cannot make it up. Okay, I was saying that earlier, how this person wants stability with you. They want children or, you know, 
for babies or whatever with you, but they want to build with you. And then we have the family home and commitment. They want something more with you, but they may be afraid to tell you that. They need your nurturance and your compassion, but they may be afraid to tell you that they need it or when they need it because they don't want to be um, presumed as being weak. I compare others to you and I see life differently now. So even if this person ever tried to replace you, they wouldn't be able to because every time they look at other people, they always compare them to you and nobody is better than you in their mind. Because of you, they see life differently now. And you know, you can't step in the same river twice. And that's just a fact. Um, because your perspective is going to be different, you know, when you are uh, enlightened. So, yeah, I feel like this person has seen the light because of you. And then we have I Like You by Post Malone and Tough by Quavo and Lana Del Rey. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the lyrics. And I will read you the lyrics to these songs. Okay, so I Like You by Post Malone. Ooh, girl, I like you, I do. I want to be your friend, go shopping in a Benz. I like you, I do. I'll hit it. I'll hit you and I land. Can you fit me in your plans? I like you, I do. We went over to France and we woke up in Japan. Oh, girl, I know you only like it fancy. So I'll pull up in that Maybach candy. Yeah, your boyfriend will never understand me because I'm about to pull this girl like a hammy. Let's take a little dip, little lady. Hit PCH 180. Hey, I've been thinking lately that I need someone to save me. Now that I'm famous, I got people all around me, but I need a good girl. I need someone to ground me. So please be true. Don't f around with me i need someone to share this heart with me fill you up then run it back again let me know when you're free because all i've been trying to hit it all because i've been trying to hit it all week babe why aren't you acting all why are you acting all sweet <clears throat> i know that you want a little of me i get a little o d but ain't new to a freak. Let me drop bands. Put a jewel in your teeth. He loved the way I drip. Turn that pool to the beach. And I could have copped the Birkin. But I cop Celine. Okay. I'm not going to read all those lyrics. But you get it. Okay. If you want to listen to that song. Feel free to. Um, and then Tough by Quavo and Lana Del Rey. Tough like the scuff on a pair of old leather boots, like the blue collar red dirt attitude, like a 38 made out of brass. Tough like the stuff in your grandpa's glass. Life's gonna do what it does, sure as the good lord's up above. I'm cut like a diamond shining in the rough. Tough, tough, come on. Take a ride with me like the 808s beaten in the trunk Atlanta. It was in Atlanta. It was tough. It was kind of hard for me. Crawling through the mud, I couldn't find love. Then we came up. Look what we look at what we are, baby. Standing through the storm, still shining like a diamond in this rough. <clears throat> still shining and that's hard if you ever lost someone that you love. Through the pain, got to show them. Give them light, still family, if you're wrong or right. No matter, we together. It's, some, it's, some, it's not something that you want to do. It's something that you're going through. Like the scuff on a pair of old leather boots. Okay? So that song could resonate. Or maybe that's like one of your favorite songs. Um... I love Lana Del Rey. She's one of my personal favorite artists, okay? So, I really do. I think she's gorgeous, beautiful, and super talented. Such a good singer. Okay, so that's what we got for this. Now, I want to go ahead and move into the confirmations. 
segment and that is where we are going to be diving deeper i might say this person's first middle last name their astrological sun moon or ascendant or yours all right okay so we have uh, Aquarius Gemini and Scorpio and Virgo that could be your Sun moon or ascendant or theirs whoever's you know the person on your mind we have five four and 19 that could be the fifth fourth or 19th of any month for a birthday that could be a May birthday an April birthday uh, specifically, May 5th, May 4th, May 19th, May 9th, May 23rd, and May 24th. We also have April. April 4th, April 5th, April 9th, April 19th, April 23rd, and April 24th for specific birthdays. Okay, if none of that resonates, let's keep going. I might say your name or the name of this person on your mind. I heard Ezekiel, so I just had to say that. And now I'm going to go ahead and t explain to you how this works. If I say a family member's name, please just know that's extra confirmation for you that this is your pile. This segment is just extra confirmations for those of you who like extra confirmations. And I might say your first, middle, or last name or theirs. If not, look in the letter tiles for your name or their name spelled out or initials. If you're looking for your name or their name, every, every, if everything's there except one letter, it still counts. And you can duplicate letters if you need to. I was hearing Lucy and Lacey, Dakota and Diego. Hmm... I heard um, Farfenhugen. I don't even know. That sounds German to me. I don't know. Katrina, Katarina, Joy, J, JJ. Um, also, Perez. Perez, like, that could be somebody's last name. Donald, Dixie, Daisy, um, Reynaldo, Paula, Pablo, Francesca, Francesco, Charlie, Chet, Chip, Winona, Grace, Gretel, Greta, Rachel, Diane, Floyd, Lloyd, Jake, Jesper, Wade, Hunter, Maddie, Quan, Octavius, Quantavius, Quentin, Quentin, Adira, Javon, Kayshawn, and Sierra, Lola, Lydia, Wanda, Terry, Missy. Zayna, Ashton, M Myra, Mila, Misha, Miguel, Miko, Nico, Nicole, Natasha, Natalie, Amy, Muhammad, Andre, Antonio, Gianni, Giovanni, Gianna, Gio, Dexter, Darius, Devante, Jack, Scott or Scotty, Brian, Clark, Brian, Bonnie, Carrie, Warren, 
Johnson, Kozlowski. Those could be last names. Lady. That could be, I don't know what lady would be. I'm getting like somebody's dog's name could be Lady. That's very specific to somebody out there. Um, Peg or Peggy. Nikita. Nik Nikisha. Makira. Eldasha, that's a cool name. Eldasha or Aldira. I also, I was hearing El Paso. Somebody could be from El Paso. Tulsa, Reno. Wichita. Salem. Florida. Kissimmee. Kissimmee is, I think, in Florida or Georgia, but I'm not sure. Venezuela. Haiti, Patagonia, Portugal, Alabama, Bollywood. I heard Kuiper. Kuiper could be somebody's last name. Somebody here could play an instrument. I'm seeing an unusual instrument, um, like a harp or something like that, or some 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 sort of in instrument that they may be a little different, okay? So you or this person could play the harp or something, an unusual instrument. Somebody here likes to do crafts because I'm seeing somebody doing crafting. All right, somebody here makes slippers. Likes to crochet and that kind of stuff. We have complete. So you complete this person. They feel empty without you. Yep. They're not feeling good without you. They feel lost without you. They feel hopeless without you. Sometimes they forget to take care of themselves when they're just obsessing about you. They may forget, neglect their self-care. Daring. This person, they want to be daring. They want to be bold. They want to approach you and tell you how much they like you or love you. They think you're a winner. Um, we have the Bambi charm here, which always reminds me of <clears throat> that possibly somebody here could um, have lost their mother. Okay, if that happened to you, I'm very sorry to hear that. Or this could have been this person. That is the symbol when I see that. That's what, or this person lost their mother. There could also be an estrangement here. I heard bait or like the last name Bates, like Kathy Bates. Okay. <clears throat> we also have pleasure. So this person does want to seek pleasure with you. We have gift. This person wants to give you a gift morning this person is sad when they're not with you we have 11 11 i am awakening this person is waking up to something having some realizations this person could like archaeology they could like history we have the dinosaur they could uh they could be older than you or there could be an age gap we have stay positive it'll all be okay so spirit just wants you to know that <clears throat> I just heard San Antonio. So somebody could be from San Antonio. I think that's in California. Um, Quebec. Somebody could be from Quebec. Somebody here was in the military. I am seeing that. Somebody wearing camouflage. The name Harper as well. Somebody here could be an author, published author. Okay, you or this person. Somebody here could like dragons. Or was born in the year of the dragon. Somebody here um, could wear a special ring. It looks like it has tiger's eye or something like that. It looks like a dark jewel. Um, with like, yeah, a, a silver band or something like that. It's very ornate looking. So I'm just seeing something in my mind's eye that looks like that. Um, very pretty ring. Okay, so that could be you. Or this person. 
likes to wear some kind of very special ring that looks like a dark jewel like tiger's eye it looks like a dark crystal or like a gem it could even be a black diamond or black pearl but it looks dark okay like dark brown or black anyways um <clears throat> i also heard the name jeremy and the name Di dea dea okay um, somebody here likes to wear a lot of bold eyeliner. So I think that could be, you know, you, I'm not sure I, if it's not you, it's somebody else watching this reading. I've seen somebody wearing a lot of bold, uh, eye makeup that looks great. In my opinion, it looks great. Um, and Somebody here could um, like to make their own butter, churning butter. I'm seeing somebody churning butter, um, washing clothes by hand. Like I'm seeing somebody hanging stuff up on a clothing line. Like <clears throat> I'm definitely seeing that uh, somebody likes to do things like the natural way. Okay. Like making as much stuff from scratch as you can, or like, you know, using organic foods and stuff like that. So let that be a confirmation if that's, you know, something that resonates with you. And somebody here could be into metalworking. Okay. And I heard goldsmith, but I don't know what that means. So I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what that means, but I was hearing goldsmith. Okay. And, um, remember, um, if you haven't pressed like yet, please take a moment to press that like button as it does help the video. And also, please leave me a comment and let me know if this resonated with you and if you liked it. If you'd like to join the community, please hit subscribe and join the tribe. I'd love to have you be part of this awesome community. Please do remember um, to enter the 35k subscriber free reading giveaway that I'll be having. All you have to do is leave a comment. Let me know you want to be entered into the um, drawing. Um... And when I reach 35K, I'll be choosing two lucky winners, okay? So remember to watch however many piles that were you were drawn to for today's reading because there might be more, multiple messages for you in each one. If you need a personal reading, check out the information in my description box below or visit my website to learn more at www.mysticrowpsychic.com. My prices are very affordable and it's always so much fun to connect with you all. By now, you may have heard about the opportunity to join my Patreon community. I do offer two weekly readings. They're pick a card style, all about spicy love readings, beauty gossip, and even some very deeply deep spiritual topics. So you get to vote on the topics and see all kinds of sides to me, Mystic Rose, and all the different topics that I like to cover over there. Um, <clears throat> you'll have access to over hundreds of videos, hundreds of videos that are already there in my library. So feel free to look in my description box below for more information. And also, if you haven't yet checked out my sister channel, Mystic Gross Tarot Collective, feel free to click on the link in my description box below and head on over there and check it out. It is all about love and romance. And if you enjoy it, be sure to subscribe over there too. I would love to see you over there. And finally, I want to say a big thank you to all of my viewers, subscribers, channel members, and Patreon members. If you're interested in supporting the channel and receiving a few extra perks, become a channel member today for only $5 a month. There is a link in the description box below that you can click on for more info. And if you'd like to donate in some other way to the channel, feel free to look in my description box below. Of course, it's never expected, but always appreciated. It does help me to purchase things for the channel. Thank you so much and stay beautiful. Until next time, take good care. Bye. Hi, beautiful souls who chose pile three. If you chose angelite or image three, you're definitely in the right spot for today's reading, which is all about the person on your mind. What does he need and want from you, but he's too afraid to say. So I'm going to connect with spirit and we can get started. Spirit, please be here now with me and help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my group three. All about the questions at hand. Please speak through me as you always do, Spirit. 
and thank you. I will be using quite a few decks here today. I'm just going to shuffle until I get a tingling sensation and then I'll put the cards down. I'm doing six of these. I'm doing some of the, uh, there's like heart cards, uh, the lover's oracle, the hidden truth because I want to see what this person wants to say to you, okay? And also, um, the yin yang oracle, okay? I will be doing some confirmations toward the end of uh, this video, okay? So I don't think that's too naughty of a card. I'll be doing some uh, confirmations. This, this will be like astrological signs. Um, this will be name channeling, hints and clues, just to make sure that, you know, you get the right pile for yourself. Because sometimes with general readings like this, um, people can accidentally choose the wrong pile and that's okay, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to choose a different pile. <clears throat> so we'll be using the hidden truth. Wow. Whoa, oh my gosh. Ooh, that's almost a little too many. Let's see if we can get a few less. Like I was thinking two spirit. Let's see if we can get two here. Okay. And I was thinking about mm, maybe two of these. Spirit, two of these. So yeah, don't forget to like today's video um, by pressing that like button. It really helps the channel. So please take a moment to do that before we get started. I would really appreciate it. I think I'll take one more of these. Okay. And then I have some fun songs as well. These are current songs from the year, years 2020 through 2024. So we'll go ahead and see what they are. Oh, you're getting three. Okay. I did two. Don't tell the piles one and two. Okay, you're getting three songs. So I'm going to go ahead and put the oracle cards just to the side here, okay, so that we can focus on the tarot at first. And then we will segue into the oracle. All right? So this should give us a pretty good idea of what we're dealing here with. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the King of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. I'm not doing reversals today, so that's why if you see me turning them around, that's why. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the two of wands and the star. Okay. So what does he need or want from you, but he's too afraid to say? I feel like for one thing, he doesn't want to fight, okay, is what I'm getting. It's really, there's something really bothering him that he needs to heal. And um, it's really hard, or he's been stressed from working too hard lately also. And maybe he hasn't really been able to vent about it, or something at work is bothering him. It could be too that maybe he feels dissatisfied with his work. There's something here about work. There's something here that's like hard to do. And it can affect his moods and it can affect this connection, okay? I think too that like he he needs you to realize that he is very caring, very nurturing. He's also very of this earth. He's a he's a planner type. He could have a lot of earth in his chart. He could be a combination of somebody who is extremely brilliant and great with business and things of this earth a great networker you know like an earth sign would be taurus capricorn virgo um i mean i am seeing that this person is very like business oriented or something like that but also at the same time they want you to know that that um he wants you to know he is compassionate and he has many sides to him that he wants you to get to know. 
And also, he wants you um, to mm, almost like, I don't know, like, he needs you to understand that he doesn't want to fight and that he just wants to focus on positive things. Sometimes it's hard for him to focus on positive things. So what he needs from you is... Um, he needs you to give him, um, like, permission, I, I want to say, permission to to grow and to express things. Um, closeness, he needs mutual support, okay, for all kinds of his goal, like, his goals, okay? W be it health goals, health-related, maybe fitness goals, diet. Um, he needs your support with his goals, like his business goals, his endeavors, and things like that. And he needs you to, and needs and wants your support more than ever and may not be like ready to talk about it with you or ask you for support. And maybe he may find that to be a sign of weakness and doesn't want to appear like he can't handle it by himself, that it's too arduous or something like that. Like, he, you know what I mean? But like, he wants you to um, let him know that like, you're there for him, you support him, and um, you really respect his ability to, like, be a hard worker and such a good planner and such a, also such a, a caring person because sometimes uh, his life can be challenging from what I'm getting here, and um, sometimes he loses faith in himself, and sometimes he's, he feels like he's got a lot of competition uh, be this in the workplace or whatever. Um, and sometimes he forgets that he's talented, that he's gifted. And he needs reminders from you and lots of praise. Um, also, what he needs from you, but he's afraid to say, is joy. Joy in celebrating small moments and big moments. Um, you appreciating life's small joys just gets him excited. Um... You know, like taking an evening walk together would be a great idea and, and, and talking about what you're grateful for. Um, you can bring this into his life, like a sense of joy, and he's grateful for that. And I was just hearing like he needs and wants more of those times and those moments with you, but may not know how to ask for that. Okay, you're healing to him with the star here. You You heal him when he needs healing, whether this be after a long day or... <clears throat> when things are stressing him out, when he's done a little too much like planning or business stuff or adulting, you can bring out that more nurturing side of him and like a different side of him. You can make him feel like a different man altogether. Like, you know, sometimes I think he feels like that. Like he's like two different people in one. Um, I'm sensing like Gemini energy here, but that's kind of how he feels. Like he has two very different sides to himself and like you can help to bring out something in him that he loves and so um he may need that from you you know and doesn't know how to articulate or express it or maybe he's a little bit too afraid to admit it that he needs you that he needs you to um cultivate the softer side of him the more psychic side of him okay he loves it but also like there is a little bit of um fear of getting a little too deep into spiritual stuff or woo woo stuff but he he really loves it and i i feel like what he needs from you is um nurturance and and growth okay so that he can grow and just that yeah that joy and the companionship just simply enjoying each other's presence okay being happy together that's what he needs the mutual respect okay mutual respect for interests like supporting each other's personal interests and hobbies and work um also i feel like what he needs from you and wants from you is spontaneity too like like um and a sense of humor um i'm getting a lot of downloads like i'm hearing like okay so he wants to enjoy like little surprises together with you and he loves it when you do these little things like when you're spontaneous and you're open to new experiences. He just loves that. Um, 
I mean, of course, he he's more of like a planner, okay? And maybe he's like, oh, I don't like surprises, but deep down, like he loves that and he craves that like spontaneity and it's just fun. You're like a spark of life to him. And um, yeah, you create like a place in his life where it's just fun. It's like life can be fun and and a playground. Like you make life magical. Um, and you're like the best companion. That's what I just heard. He also loves that there, there can be like moments of silence between the two of you and nobody has to say anything and it's just comfortable, you know, just being in each other's company. It's just, you don't always have to talk. So like you take the pressure off him. He doesn't always have to talk, but like, you know, he likes that he can talk if he needs to, you know, and what he needs from you, but he may be too afraid to say is um like i don't know something about like do you love me unconditionally even when i have bad moods that's what i heard that's what i heard okay so let's see what we got here because this should be interesting oh my gosh we have party yeah you make him realize that life needs to be a little bit more fun it doesn't always have to be hard work okay you can provide a sense of escape and he loves that that you can take his mind off from stress or work um or stress at work uh, and realize and tell him and like make him realize that like there's so much more to life um than just working hard and that yeah you you really do balance him out you help him believe in magic here we have alchemy ancestor guides you've helped him to realize that when people pass on they don't just die they become um like their energy a spirit is energy and never dies okay and they become guides to us okay our past loved ones um so yeah and they're always accessible to us you have taught this person about life's mysteries and magic and that's what he will continue to need and want from you is for you to provide that sense of playfulness magic and and he wants and needs you to teach him how to manifest and different magical things like that because it's just it's fun and it does provide a lot of healing for him we have love there's definitely um a love offer here romance um he needs love from you he needs romance from you he needs you to plan the fun dates okay um sometimes he might get a little too busy and and i know that sounds like an excuse but like maybe he doesn't he's not extremely the most romantic type of person maybe he doesn't come up with like fun dates but i don't think it's that he doesn't desire to i just think that his um faculties are committed to his work mainly and primarily he may have like like I said, like a very dutiful job or something that consumes a lot of his, um, like mental, you know, uh, ca capacity and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see what these cards say and the songs and all that. I'm really excited to get to these two. Here we have deep in your heart. You already know the answer. Do what feels right. You help him to get in touch with his heart. And that's what he needs from you more is like, teaching you teach him how to get in touch with his heart's desires and like you know you teach him to stop and pause and reflect which i don't think he's done that before i don't think that it was ever in his vocabulary to like stop and meditate i think that you have brought a lot to this man's world we have this card here it says beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are the qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so he you have taught him about the world is a mirror okay and now i think that like <clears throat> and he needs to you know he needs this from you to for you to continually remind him that you know everything happens for a reason like you're helping him to see the interconnectedness of it all like you know when he's stressed about a certain coworker or a situation or whatever you can help him to see like okay let's reflect on this together let's come up with solutions together but what does this really mean um what don't you like about this situation like you can ask the right questions and he needs you to keep doing this because 
you are like an angel sent to him from above, okay? Like without your insight and your compassion to probe and like also to be so supportive, I mean, he would be so lost and he would just throw himself completely into work and burn himself out. You provide stimulation, you provide fun, okay? And perspective and meaning, truly meaning. Maybe he's worried about money because we have, I'm not financially stable. He could worry about money or he, maybe he's like, he, he could be one of those people that has enough money, but he's like, oh, I need more money. I need more money. And maybe he's like stressing about it because he needs constantly thinks he, you know, you know, like, oh, an emergency could happen. So, oh, I need to have a big nest egg. You know what I mean? Okay. So he's very, very, um, concerned about money. That's the thing. Like I'm going to ring my bell because that's a, that's a confirmation. And so is this, your intellect arouses me. Yeah. Like he's, he's attracted to your beautiful mind. Okay. Like I, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. And then we have three songs. I love you. I'm sorry by Gracie Abrams, angel of my dreams by Jade and espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. So let's find out what the lyrics are to these songs. This is exciting. Okay, so I Love You, I'm Sorry by Gracie Abrams goes like this. Two Augusts ago, I told the truth. Oh, but you didn't like it. You went home. You're in your bends. I'm by the gate. Now you go alone. Charm all the people you train for. You mean well, but aim low. And, I, and I'll make it known like I'm getting paid. That's just the way life goes. I like to slam doors closed. Trust me. I know it's always about me. I love you. I'm sorry. Two summers ago... Two summers from now, we'll be, ha we'll be talking. We're cool now. I'll be on a boat. You'll be on a plane going somewhere. I'll have a drink, wistfully lean out my window, and watch the sunset on the lake. It might not feel real, but it's okay. Because that's just the way life goes. I push my luck and it shows. Thankful you don't send someone to blank me. I can't say that. I love you. I'm sorry. You were the best, but you were the worst. As sick as it sounds, I loved you first. It is what it is. It's a habit to kick. The old age tendency. I laugh and cry whenever I'm sad. Okay, that's an interesting one. If that song resonates, take it. If not, don't take it. Um, let's look at... Uh, it's got interesting lyrics, okay? Very interesting lyrics. Angel. Let's look at Angel of my dreams. Because I kind of feel like this one is not going to resonate with everybody. I really do. I feel like that one's... The lyrics are so random. Okay, I wonder if one day that you'll say that you care. If you say you love me madly, Angel of my dreams, I will always love you. I will always want and need you. You don't care that I'm mad. Care that I'm sad. It's bad. It's funny. Care if I cry. You only care about money. Money, money. Selling my soul. Okay. That is interesting. These songs, I've, I, I, I haven't heard these songs. The only one I've heard is this one. So, yeah. This is an interesting one, too. Again, if that doesn't resonate with you, leave it, okay? Maybe you like that song. Maybe it's your favorite song. I don't know. Let me know. And then let's look at Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Now he's thinking about me every night. Is that sweet? I guess so. Say you can't sleep. I know that's me, Espresso. Move it up, move it down, left, right, oh. Switch it up like Nintendo. Say you can't sleep, baby. I know, that's me, espresso. I can't relate to desperation. I got this one, boy, and he won't stop calling me. When they act this way, I know I got them. <laughs> oh, okay. Now he's thinking about me every night. Isn't that sweet? I guess so. You can't sleep. I know, that's me, espresso. Okay. Again, I don't know why these songs came out, but 
I can only imagine that you must have some kind of clue. Maybe these are your favorite songs or they have special meaning for you and this person. To me, it seems a little cryptic. Okay, that's okay. And I mean, if it's for you, you're going to know it, right? So I'm just the messenger putting them out here. <laughs> and if it doesn't resonate, leave it. Okay. And if it does, take it. All right. Now we're going to move into our confirmation segment. Okay, we got a Leo. We have um, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Since we got Aquarius twice, let's go again. Leo again. So double Leo. Taurus. We have... Uh, March birthday, we have a January birthday, and March again. Um, this could be the third, first, or sixth of any month, or even, um, yeah. I want to say, like, specifically March 3rd, March 6th, March 1st, March 7th, January 1st, January 3rd, January 6th, January 7th. Okay. Or Leo Sagittarius Aquarius or Taurus in their sun, winter, send it, or yours. If those don't ring a bell, that's okay. We can keep going. Um, I don't know why, but I was hearing Tanzania. Somebody here could be from Tanzania. How this works is I'm going to be laying down letter tiles. Look for your name or initials spelled out or the person on your mind. Um, look for his name or initials. And I just heard Nesbitt as well. So I don't know what that would be, but I heard Nesbitt. Okay. Um, so you can duplicate letters if you need to when looking for the name and the tiles. And if everything's there except one letter, it still counts. If I say a family member's name, please let that just be extra confirmation that this is your pile. It doesn't mean anything more than just simply that. I am hearing the name Kyle and Kyler. Oh, we need one more. Okay. Um, Candace. Somebody here could like kawaii stuff, like um, the cute little cartoon kawaii stuff. Okay. The name um, Capri, Kendall, um, what else, Spirit? Jackie, Jada, or Jaden, um, Ian, Ivan, Aisha, Tony, Avery. Scarlet, Char, Camila, Gray or Grayson, Ruth, Carolyn, Trisha, Jay, Jason, Jordan, Ruben, Clint or Clinton, Leona, Ted, Fran or Francis, Kenneth, Kev or Kevin, Kenton, Doug, Tyler, Rusty, Mimi, Sherry, Connor. Autumn, Skyler, Robert, Jameson, Roman, Axel, Anna, Brayden, Bo, Melanie, Donnie, Danny, Remy, 
Nathaniel. And I'll just say a few more names, okay? Juan. I was hearing Sultana. Not sure what that is. Kenya. Malachi. Abigail. Junior. Judah. Faith. Ivory. Din um, Dina or like um, Dana or something like that as well. Okay. Um, I just heard Kapir, so I don't know if that's somebody's like name or something or what or a location, but I was hearing Kapir. Um, and the name Dennis. Okay. And also I was hearing Libya and I heard Lunar. So I don't know. Lunar or Luna. Uh, I'm seeing somebody here could um, be Buddhist. Um, somebody here could be, um, could have been raised um, with the Hindu religion or Hindi. Hindu, Hindi. Um, hmm. I was hearing Gladriel. I think that's an angel, but I'm not sure. Somebody, maybe you, know, maybe somebody here like works with angels. Um, Kyra, the name Kyra. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna um get some charms out of here and see what we got. We have the hanged man, meaning that meaning that something could be on hold. We have the snake, meaning that there could be somebody putting, like, planting bad seeds in this person's mind or something. Um, or there could be, like, a bad friend or somebody who's spreading gossip or rumors, okay? We also have exclusive. So somebody here wants to be exclusive with you. But there's a lot of fake people around, is what I'm seeing. And um, also, somebody here suffering from sadness. A lot of sadness. Okay, somebody here could wear hoodies quite a lot. Um, we have a special connection, but somebody feels defeated. Somebody here could drink quite a bit of alcohol. Um, or just drink, I don't know, when they're feeling down. Um... Or maybe they like martinis. The name Martini, Martinez or Martina could be uh, your name or, or somebody near and dear to you. We also have good luck. Somebody could have a tattoo of um, a four-leaf clover on their body. Or they really like shamrocks or something or the Irish culture. And then we have this heart. So somebody is falling in love with you or is very much in love with you. And I just heard never-ending love. And I don't know why I was hearing this never-ending story. That's like a song, or that's like a, a movie from like the 80s. Never-ending story. So I don't know, maybe that's like somebody's favorite movie. It is a good movie. If you haven't seen that, oh my gosh. <laughs> you would get a kick out of it, I'm pretty sure. Never-ending story. So yeah, but also, um, yeah. Uh, somebody here could be a waitress or waiter. I am getting that here as well. Um, Somebody here could be a chiropractor, a nurse practitioner, or PA. Somebody could be a detective. Somebody could be into fashion or the fashion industry, modeling, that kind of thing. I'm hearing Key West. I heard um, Bermuda. Okay. Um, somebody... Um, Maybe somebody's like, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I'm hearing war and peace, war and peace. So that could be a book that y'all are reading or something like that, or like a movie you just saw or something like that. But yeah, or there could be some kind of connection or correlation. Let me know in the comment section if that resonates with you. Okay, um, I think that's it. But please remember to let me know if you want to be entered into the contest to win. 
um, the free reading when I reach 35k. I'm gonna be choosing th um, two lucky winners. So, and you can enter more than once. The more times you enter, the more your likelihood of um, being picked to be a winner. So, um, please remember to press that like button too. And believe me, it helps. Um, and please leave a comment. And like, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Um, I only ask that because um, I really love this channel and I hope you do too. And please help me to reach more people. That's the only reason that I ask because um, YouTube algorithm can be funny and sometimes it doesn't push videos out if people don't like it. If people don't comment or like, it just sits there and it doesn't do much. And then sometimes people's channels can die and I really don't want that to happen to this channel. Okay, because I really care a lot about this channel. I think most of you know that. I, I have a lot of energy invested into this channel and I have been for like the last two and a half years. So I just wanted to put that out there. So please do subscribe, like, and comment because those things help. And um, remember to watch however many piles that you were drawn to because there might be multiple messages for you in each one. And if you do need a personal reading, check out the info in my description box below or visit my website to learn more at www.mysticrowpsychic.com. My prices are really affordable and it's always a lot of fun to connect with you all. By now you might have uh, heard about the opportunity to join my Patreon community. It's a lot of fun over there. I do offer two weekly readings. They are pick a card style readings all about spicy love readings, beauty gossip, even very deeply spiritual topics. You get a chance to vote on the topics over there and you also get full unlimited access to hundreds of videos that are already in my library. So feel free to look in my description box below for more information. And also if you haven't yet checked out my sister channel, Mystic Rose Tarot Collective, feel free to click on the link in my description box below and head on over there. It's all about love and romance. It is a collective style you i'm pretty sure you're gonna like it if not that's okay but if you do enjoy it please be sure to subscribe over there too i'd love to see you on over there and have you be part of the community and finally i want to say a big thank you to all of my viewers subscribers channel members patreon members and all who support me if you're interested in supporting the channel and receiving a few extra perks consider becoming a channel member today for only five dollars a month there is a link in the description box below that you can click on for more information. And if you'd like to donate in a different way, that's okay. Feel free to check out the description box below to find out how. Of course, it's never expected, but always appreciated because it helps me to buy things for the channel. Thanks so much. I hope you take good care and stay beautiful. Until next time. Bye.